Hey, Joey. What is it, dear? How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Sorry. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. <laughs> Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. And Joey, too, I guess. It's funny. With Joey there, we almost look like a real family. I can't believe that Joey was around when Auntie Lauren was taking care of me. So Auntie Lauren was a medium as well. All this time and I never knew. Joey crashes yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. Joey crashes, he doesn't. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. Even way back then, Joey was following her around. How did she manage it? Joey crashes yet another photograph. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Joey says that this girl looks exactly like the girl in the park. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I want to talk to you, Joey. What do you want, sweetheart? Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Why were you at the wedding? Because your aunt insisted on going, and I go where she goes. I could have talked her out of it, but she put her foot down. Tough lady, your aunt, when she needed to be. What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad and Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. What were you doing in this picture? Being ignored as usual. Real strong believer in denial, that woman. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It... it... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plan's unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. 
He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Hey, dollface, come here. Hold up that picture you got. Do you recognize the girls in this picture? Oh, it's so hard to see. Maybe I need glasses. Hmm. Worth a try. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out and we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Hey, it's open. After you. Yeah? Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Could I ask you some follow- <sighs> Make a qu- So what was Joanne- To be honest, she was- she was so- Vanilla. You know, just a- she seemed- Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh. Them. You know them? Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? The blonde girl is... Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan? Not much. Quite, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. So it was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right? Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? Nope. I'm agnostic. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What? You're a detective now? Well... Forget it. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. I recognize her. That's Joanne. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. It's just a telephone. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let some stranger paw through her stuff. You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. Can I use your phone? You what? 
It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? The safety bars on the window prevent... Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah? I need you to work your magic on them. Uh... <laughs> sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Nice one. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. Looks like standard poli -sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty... strange. I'd better take a closer look. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Hey there. Remember me? No. no. Maybe. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah, I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore. But he did something to me. They'll go away. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego of Story and Song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Do you know anyone named Alexander? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident, or was it just fate? Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Maybe. Can you tell me anything about yourself, Allie? Allie Montego of Story and Song. She kisses a... Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. <sighs> you alright? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person.
with him staring over my shoulder, I can't. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Ali Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. The girls were interested in Ouija boards, and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? You coming? Yeah, sure. Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're clear. Go right in. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I... I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh? Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is a living hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list, uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. You're not on the guest list. 
Oh, well, that's because... I gave you the wrong name. You did what? Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry, it's a character in a play I'm in. Ugh, that's the best you could come up with? Really? Well, what is your name? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... they told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. So do you like Bellevue? It's okay. I used to come here every week. To visit my aunt, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. Well, anyway, I'm just saying, I've spent a lot of time here. You don't have to be scared of me. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Sort of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. That's all. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Susan? She just did. Don't know why. Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. Susan, can you tell me why you're here? What happened? Nothing. Just... nothing. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. We've already established this. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. 
I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. <laughs>